we're really pleased with using it. We've had a good week's trial on it and uh, just it's comfortable to use. You can see all the way around the machine. Um, it's just a pleasure to use. Boxes are thought about with how they're clipped on, um, easy to get off. Um, it's just a really well thought out machine. Ben Connell, Grounds Manager, Ipswich Town Football Club. As a club, we're looking at every area to how can we be better. And it's not just the diesel that we were using before um, and such things like that. It's also the environment with the noise and it's important for the neighbours. And it's important for own staff as well, you know, because it, it can cause problems. Ear defenders, it can, you know, increase stress levels when there's a lot of noise going on. And uh, it just helps with um, fatigue as well. I'm using a machine that's that's just such a quiet pleasure to use. It's not shaking and and such, and the, the noise obviously is the big one for us. So uh, it's a thumbs up from all the ground staff here. As we're in a residential area, it's really important for us to be able to get out and cut quietly, um, and also it allows us to do some work on weekends, um, starting early weekends, Sunday afternoon sometimes. If, if we need to get out and cut, we don't want to be restricted because of the, the neighbours. Having demoed the Eclipse last year, we were really, really impressed with the silent operation. It's an absolute pleasure to use. Now that we've got the five gang coming up here, it really solves the problem of getting the cutting done in time because of the extra width that we've got there. And it fits nicely into the mowing patterns as well. So it's a, it's a winner for us. We used it all morning, stuck it on charge at lunchtime, and it was good to go for another afternoon cutting. I think now that the grounds equipment is starting to go over to being battery powered, it's absolutely vital that you can carry on doing your work and you don't have to stop because of um, run out of batteries. Um, but these problems are really are being solved now by um, all the machinery and it looks like it's going to be real something for the future. Um, it's good to be involved in the, the initial setups from it because Ransom Shakers are listening to what we're saying, they're making adjustments to the machinery and uh, it's good to be involved in helping developing something as, as good as this because this is the future. Having trialled it for a week, um, little things that we've picked up that we've fed back to Ransoms is, is the route on and off the machine. Um, temptation is to stand on the tyre all the time, um, adding an extra in consideration of where the feet might go getting on. Um, the control centre is really nice to use. It would be nice to have more flexibility in there to move it out and in so that you can find the perfect comfort area for different operators. And the boxes underneath, again, is taking them. It's always difficult to get the boxes out from underneath a mower and uh, that's being reviewed as well to, to have a look to making that the, um, the best way possible. We have all had issues with hydraulic oil spilling on a football pitch before and hope that it's not if it happens, it's when it happens. And uh, we've, we've had our issues um, before. If you haven't got the hydraulic oil there, it's not going to spill on. What's the worst going to happen? The mower will stop and, you know, it's, it's a great can um, connect it up to the computer, diagnose straight away what's wrong with it and uh, get, get it sorted out. Um, where the, um, the parts with hydraulics and the mechanical parts are going to be a lot more wearing in other ways, with this, there's probably going to be fewer things that are going to be wrong with it and it's more quickly diagnosed. Sort of knowing that you're connecting up to laptops, if that's something that a grounds team can hold as a laptop and it can connect it up, messages can get strength sent straight through to the factory to then automatic post out parts to get done and almost instructions of how to repair it yourselves without having to have um, you know, a single trained person come out to do that. Um, there's, there's so much scope that what can happen in the future. With the mower being tracked now, um, it can go back to, to HQ and we know exactly where the mower's been, how much usage it's got, um, where it's been, how much work it's done, how many hours, knowing when it's due up for maybe an inspection um, because everything's logged from afar and it, doesn't, it takes that element of having to report and record hours all the time and, and such because it's automatically there. Yeah, we all keep records of everything we do, whether it's applications of certain pictures and such and it will help that if it's automatically logging how many hours and usage we've done on the pitch we can then work out because we're always doing this for budget reasons in staff time and such is how many times do we cut the pitch how long does it cut the pitch how many staff do you need and when that information is automatically being recorded it takes a lot of the legwork out of us having to write down that you know we're spending x amount of hours cutting a pitch and and it helps cost the pitch as well so if you've got an area of 10 pitches as we have we know that we need an x amount of mowers and x amount of staff to be able to cope with that during the growing season and, and if it's being registered and logged straight away, how many hours we need that machine for and how many hours we need the staff for, it's, it goes hand in hand. And uh, it helps with justifications when it comes to, um, to budgeting. 
everything is moving forward really quickly and it's a case of plans that we've been making about where we're going to go with machinery suddenly turning on its head now we're all looking down going down the battery routes and you know it's, it's yeah it's a really big step forward now and this is the the beginnings of a new era uh, moving away from the old diesel engine onto something that's going to be a lot cleaner and much more efficient and environmentally friendly.